Hey everybody, Brett from Stardust Gaming here, back with another episode of our Clash of Kings mod Let's Play for Mountain Blade Warband. So I'm in White Harbor right now, where I've stocked up on some food and hired some White Harbor Knights uh, with what little money I have left, and we are, of course, riding the Sisterton to break the siege. It has gone on for roughly a full day. That's about how long it took me to travel uh, this, you know, this whole distance from the Riverlands up to here, where we actually had a port to transfer over. So, um, I'm thinking it's a fairly small army there if it's taken them this long. Otherwise, they probably would have had it already and we'd be fighting them to take it back rather than rushing to its defense still. Um, along the way, I fought some... what were they called again? They were... deserters, that's what they were called. And I was able to pick up some more northern troops. Apparently, um, there are Dothraki deserters running around from Dragonstone. And I was able to pick up a few archers, northern archers, um, northern longbowmen, stuff like that. And I was also able to get quite a few more pikes as well. Most of these are from upgrade, not from um, rescuing, but still. We have 43 now where we were down to like under 20 at one point last episode. Um, we also have a bunch of named characters that have leveled up, including our twin twins. So um, let's let's take care of that, and then we're going to rush down to Sisterton and try to break up this mess. Following that, I think we're going to head to... Let's go Strength 15. You know what? No, let's get him some Intelligence. Oh, wow, you leveled up several times over. He was pretty low level, so I guess that makes sense. Um, let's go Intelligence... Hmm. One, two, and three. I'll put a point there. Actually, I'll put two points there to keep him on his feet longer. And then that leaves me a couple of points down here to distribute as needed. Where do I want to put them? Hmm. Well, we'll let him hit a little bit harder. That's a good start. I think I'll give him some persuasion as well. We'll go two into persuasion, maybe. So if we need to send an emissary, he might be a good person to send. Or, you know, he will be after we level him up a bit more. And he definitely needs some one-handed skill. After playing as him briefly, um, you know, it was a bit rough being so unskilled with a sword and trying to fight. So we'll try to improve that. And then we have Liana. Let's see. Um, she's only leveled up once, but she started at a higher level than he did. I think we'll go with... Strength 15, Iron Flesh 4, next level up, we'll put another point into there just to, again, make her a little bit more resilient. And some one-handed skill for her wouldn't hurt either. Then we have uh, Torin. We'll go Agility 12, Weapon Master 4, and then some one-handed skill. Are you even using that two-handed axe? I feel like he's probably not. And then finally, Sir Kristen Aaron. Our uh, representative from the Vale. Let's see what to do with you. Um, let's get you some agility. Because you're probably going to need to increase your Weapon Master skills soon. And we won't be able to do that until you're agility 12. For now, we'll get you against some more Iron Flesh. Because the longer you're able to stay on your feet, the better you'll fight. And that's all we can do right now. Um, I don't have a ton of money left, so I don't want to bother with upgrades. And with that, again, let's push south and defeat these uh, attackers. Watch us lose it, like, on our way there. Let's see. So the prosperity of Salt Pans just went up. Salt Pans is, of course, one of our towns, so that's good. Um, I don't remember. Do I hold that myself, or is that still... Yeah, I appear to hold that myself. So I'll be making a little bit more money off that. Where are these guys? Did they leave? Are you kidding me? Did they really leave? They couldn't have got past me. Wow, we lost a lot of our followers. Um, how? Where could they have gone? Nothing else is under siege. Alright, well. This presents us with a unique opportunity. Because we can actually transfer from this harbor to this one and attack them from the north, rather than having to go in through the Bloody Gate. Not that that's an issue, we actually hold the Bloody Gate, the owner of it, or the lord of it, um, defected to our side. So, that wouldn't have been a problem. But, 
that is a moot point because we don't have to deal with it anyways. So I think we'll um, attack Heart's Home, which is actually, and I feel bad about this, but this is the ancestral home of the Corbrays. And uh, of course, Sir Royman Corbray is one of my most loyal subjects. So I feel terrible about this attacking his family, but uh, they've made their choice. We won't execute them or anything. But, you know, they may have to uh, surrender and bend the knee before we're going to consider giving that back to them. And we hold pretty much the rest of... These are the fingers. It looks like we hold, yeah, everything north of the river except for Hart's home. So that'll be a nice strategic capture for us. Where do you cross that river? Certainly not anywhere over here. Do you have to go all the way around? I think you do. In that case, this is a pretty strategic position. But this worked out pretty well for us. It looks like we're slowly accruing more lords as they catch back up. Um, Lord Lionel Corbray, I believe that's Sir Royman's father, uh, is there with 116 of his men as well as 180 of his garrison. We have um, quite a lot of longbowmen there. As well as uh, a few knights. Looks like 23 knights in total, including 8 heavy knights. Uh, but, I mean, what, what choice do we have? We have to take it, right? It'd be nice if we had a couple more people here to help us, though. I guess they're slowly, slowly trickling back in. Uh, let's see. I'll challenge him to a duel. I gain honor, and he preferred to flee rather than duel me. I would expect as much, especially since our weapon skills at this point are probably the highest in the game. I don't think there's any character that can match us in a straight-up duel. Oh, I meant to press C. Yeah, like 315 is pretty high, and we have all these weapon points to spend still. Um, is that going to be enough? Eh, let's just do it. I don't want to wait anymore. Plus, we're going to have to build stuff. Hopefully not a tower. Uh, ladders. Okay, good. So in the six hours, maybe we'll get a couple more people to join us. And uh, sure enough, we did get two more people showing up. Um, Sir Roderick Torrett was one of them. I didn't catch the heraldry of the other one. Anyways, let's go ahead and... Um, do we want to change commanders here? I always have more luck in sieges with Garrett Longley. Plus, I, I hate risking Rook's life for such like inconsequential battles. Not that, you know, taking castles isn't important, it's just um, this particular castle isn't of that much significance, and if the king were to die taking it, I would feel pretty stupid. Um, so yeah, we'll let Garrett command this one, as uh, we often do. Alright, so let's see, I'm going to have the archers hold here and provide covering fire, as I will myself. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, finally some headshots. Once um, Nelsor is not wounded anymore, I'll probably give him some more opportunities to command. I feel like that's a good idea from like a roleplay perspective. I think Rook would definitely want him to get some experience commanding the men, especially in siege situations, because obviously if something were to happen to Rook, Nelsor would be the one taking over, and he would want Nelsor to be as experienced as possible. Oh man, this is a this is a pretty strategically laid out castle. Like they're firing on us from both sides as we come up here. It's not too often you see castles designed like this in Warband. Generally they're kind of, you know, weird and not very realistic, but in this case, uh, this actually makes a lot of sense. I can't tell where my arrows are landing. Oh, well. Apparently in his body somewhere because he went down. And can I get another on him? Yes. Crap. I'm starting to run out of arrows. I'm going to have to go collect some. Damn. I'm not going to hit him. He's just too far away for me to hit consistently. Even with Garrett Longley's skill, it's kind of difficult. Alright, we're out. You guys keep doing your thing. I'm going to go... Ouch. 
pull some arrows out of my chest, I guess. Give me this one that lodged into the air. I don't see any others. Let's see. We're, we're definitely dealing damage, but they're giving it right back. Of course, we do have numbers on them, so eventually we will win if it stays like this. It just won't be a very pretty victory. Not that any have been very recently. I do have the difficult up quite high, so that that's why we take up or we take so many losses. Let's see. Give me all of the arrows. Uh, I better be careful here. I don't want to accidentally grab like a two-handed weapon or something that I can't use. And another. Can't quite see that guy. Oh, I bet you smelled that. Right by his face. Can I shoot your arm? Oh, well, let's kill him first. I don't think I can. Um, right. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of those. Oh, wait, wait. Arrows. Did I see another one? Arrow. Uh, well, I'll have to make do with that. Alright, finally I can see this guy. Alright, you're down. Let's deal with you. Oh, sorry guys. Didn't mean to block you there. I guess I'll just fire from on top of people. Can I even do that? I don't think I can. Nope. Are we really getting pushed that far back? We haven't even taken the walls yet. Oop. Alright, you're down. I'm going to run up here and grab some more arrows. Hopefully not get shot in the back while I do it. Arrows, thank you. Oh, you dick. Oh, I had him lined up too. Alright, we might need to uh, take another pass at this one. I'm surprised, yeah, we weren't able to hold the walls even. They were literally fighting us right up at the top of that ladder there. Let's see, so how did we do? Um, my losses were actually pretty minimal. Allied casualties, I imagine, were going to be significantly worse. Yeah, 49 dead. Enemy casualties, 84. So we did get the better of them, if only slightly. Let's go ahead and prepare the ladders again. Probably should have asked them to surrender, actually. We have the numbers. I, I think they might consider it. And we just definitely got a lot more, so... Yeah, oh man. The entire Kingdom of the North just showed up. Yeah, let's, uh, let's call for a meeting. Really? All right. If you say so. Um, let's see. I could command it with Rook. Um, I'll probably just run it with Garrett again. Alright, so they've lost uh, a decent amount of men. I don't know if it's quite half. No, not, not half, but a pretty good chunk. Could you guys not block my vision, please? Alright, so again, we're going to snipe some heads here do what we can to thin the uh, archers out before they thin us out. That should have hit something. Looks like it clipped through a couple shoulders when it went by. Oh, somebody killed him before my arrow got there. But I was able to clip that guy. There's another one. I don't know if I can hit those heads. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Let's aim over here then. We're, we're landing shots, it's just, it's kind of difficult to tell where, so it's hard for me to adjust my aim. Like obviously, once I get it dialed in, I can hit people pretty easily, but all I can really tell is whether or not I, whether or not I hit them, so I don't know if I need to go, like, up or down. Yeah, I think it's, I think the guys on this side are doing the most damage, the ones I'm currently shooting at, because they're essentially firing into our backs as we go up that ladder whereas the guys to our to our left they're 
you know, kind of firing into the front where there's shields and stuff covering. So it's not as bad, but, you know, those guys pretty much right into the side. Although I guess they kind of have a similar view over here, at least some of them did. We just cannot seem to take that ladder, though. Are we getting, like, friendly fire here? No, there's definitely Veil Longbowmen getting kills. I can't see if you do that. Damn it. Let's see. You're not shooting anybody, so I'll shoot him instead. Oh, got him before he let that go. Damn it. Come on, show your face. Oh, man. Well, that's about all I can do. That's about all I can do to help. Um, I'll collect some arrows and, again, try to rush in there and back them up. There's not a whole lot I can do standing out here. We'll try to get those guys moved up onto the walls. As soon as we take the walls, if we take the walls. It kind of seems like this one's just going to be a, a battle for the walls right up to the end. Ah, crap. Come on, give me arrows. Give me arrows. Feed me. Alright, finally. Where did you go? I saw you. Uh, I can't quite aim through that. This ladder is too steep. Ah, I see people. Damn. He's gonna kill me because I can't... There we go. I, say, I can't quite get an arrow over the top of that. Well, this is about all I can do for them. Let's see. Do they have any archers that can hurt me? Oh, can I take those? Nice. I don't know how I'm able to reach that, but I'm not going to complain. Okay. You guys do your thing. I'll try to get out of your way. Let's see, can I squeeze some arrows through that gap? Eh, not quite. I think we're finally making some headway here. It's difficult to tell, though. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, oh, never mind. I was going to say, there's very few of them actually up here, but, no, there's actually quite a few. Are you not actually there? My arrows appeared to be going straight through him. Oh, okay. Not having that. I'll just stand here and shoot you guys then, I guess. There we go. Get him to lower the shield and then fire. Come on, drop it. There we go. Where is our backup? Do we have too many archers deployed? I think we have too many archers deployed. Great. Well, I'm going to dome some people. They can't have that many left. So I keep telling the archers to retreat, but apparently a retreat order for them is a charge order. So we're going to lose some archers here. Not a lot I can do about it, but if they don't get off the map somehow, we're never going to get any men in here to actually take it. I killed probably 50 of them myself, so there shouldn't be that many left for them to deal with. But obviously that they're fighting. Um, oh, wow, that lag. They're fighting better quality troops than, you know, archers would be. In fact, archers, do me a favor and pull back now. Now that these guys are here, you may as well just get out of the way. No point in sending you to your deaths unnecessarily. So yeah, go over there or something. You can maybe follow the melee troops up, but let's get like the Veil Knights and stuff in there. Is there anything I can use that would be more effective than... Like, where's, where's a pike when I need one? Ah, there we go. I don't know how good Garrett is with a two-handed sword, but we're about to find out. Oh, I finally got down. Alright, well, we'll just let this play out. Um, they shouldn't have that many more men left. We killed 
like 84 the first time. There's over 125 dead now, so it, it's got to be the last couple of guys. All right. Uh, oh, we were treated. What? Did I hit the button too early? God damn it. We won, and I hit tab, and I'm pretty sure it just counted as a retreat. Yeah, it definitely did. Um, well, we didn't lose anybody. We had nine wounded, but none dead. Um, for the allied troops, 53 killed, but 103 were wounded. So it looks like that went better than it potentially could have. And then the enemy should be wiped out to a man. Uh, it looks like their lord manages to escape. That's so dumb. So we lost morale because that was a retreat, but we won the battle. Um, we'll take these guys as garrison troops. I don't have any more room for prisoners, unfortunately, but we'll make room for a uh, a knight. Actually, the men at arms are... Uh, no, never mind. I thought you'd be more heavily equipped. We'll definitely try to take the knight, though. So, let's see. Uh, I'll let the Lorathi go. Oh, we finally get loot. Oh, screw that. Okay, well, um, we're going to defer appointment here, of course. And we'll have to figure out who we want to give that to at a later date. It may end up going to um, Sir Royman himself. But I like him being in my party, so I don't really want to give him a fief and lose that. So I'll, I'll have to figure it out. Maybe maybe his kin will finally see reason and you know join us. If not, then, well, we have a tougher decision on our hands. Um, let's see. Let's push around here. Unfortunately, that's not a castle. So, what is there still remaining that we would need to take? We have Montan, the Erie, the Red Fort, and Goldtown. So, wait, did I say Montan? That's not right. That's a village. We have the Gates of the Moon which are the gates leading up to the Erie. So that's sort of like one thing, but we don't have to take them together. It would make a lot of sense, though. Um, and then we have Red Fort and Goldtown. I say let's take everything except for this. We'll let them kind of hole up there, and that'll be the last thing we take because it'll probably be the hardest. If, I've, if I remember correctly, at least this one, this one probably too, but this map is insane. Siege map, that is. So let's ride toward Red Fort. We'll take that, and then with our insane amount of vassals that are following us, um, we should have no problem grabbing that and Goldtown. Okay, so apparently um, Uther Tollet is currently engaged in battle against uh, Lord Peter Baelish himself. I'm going to ride through High Heart and see if I can buy some um, food. I mean, that'll have to do. We have bread still, but they don't seem to be eating this bread. I guess they are. It just it keeps telling me I have zero days of food left when I have all that. Um, but yeah, let's jump in on this. And of course, we are going to rush to the aid of our friend and uh, vassal. We will be leading our troops ourselves, and I'm pretty sure I have my pike equipped. Really, nobody joined in on that. Okay. Not a single person following us joined that. That is very very odd. Um, everybody hold here. This is a pretty good spot. Actually, this isn't too bad either. Yeah, you know what? If they come to us, which I don't know that they will, but one can hope. Um, pikemen, if there are any of you, why don't you set up on the slope? Infantry just behind them. Archers, you guys remain up on the hill there. And cavalry, oh cavalry, I'll deploy you over there. Okay, so they are... Are they coming? It's a bit difficult to tell, to be honest. Archers, do me a favor and hold your fire. I don't want you wasting it on shots of that distance. Let's see, I don't want to be in front of you guys. What the hell's happening there? Oh, those are my my Raven Guard. Not as many pikes as I would have liked. Um, let's see. Archers. Is it worth firing? 
I think, yes, we'll go ahead and start opening up on them. Alright, so I'm considering advancing here. They don't seem to have any interest in moving forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my infantry to move to... Uh, none of this terrain is particularly great. Infantry set up there. Pikes, of course, uh, as always, right in front of them. Archers, I want you right where I'm standing on this hill. Cavalry, move up to there. Who is that? Oh, that's Liana. Why is she grouped with... Is she in, like, the infantry or something? Is she not following me? I'll have to look into that. She should be following me around. But I think she's joined in the infantry group or something. You know, I wonder if this would be a better spot. This does have a little bit more elevation. Yeah, you know what, pikes? Right about there, infantry right about here. Archers right where I'm standing. And then we can do some sort of pincer movement here. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Alright, cavalry, go. Infantry, you guys better move a little bit quicker. It's going to be nasty, but their knights are going to get bogged down really quickly here. Oh, come on. Like, if you're going to shatter my lance, you may as well die while you, while, while you do it. 53 and I didn't kill him. These guys have damn good armor. They're a little bit um, overpowered, to be honest. In that siege, they were taking a lot of... Oh, oh, hello. They were taking a lot of damage and not going down. Please don't slow me down. I do not want to eat a lance in the back. Ah, you dick. And sure enough, I get hit in the back. All right. Apparently he had better places to be. This is an absolute disaster. Luckily my archers have a decent position. Oh, infantry, you should be charging. That's my fault. Oh boy. Um, they got more cavalry coming in. I'm going to need to pull mine back. Honestly, I'm still really surprised that none of my vassals joined in on this. They were right behind me. If not, like, right on top of this. Um, that's not good. I don't want to be part of that, though. Let's see. Those are just random horses. Infantry, I kind of need you over here. Okay. Okay. That guy just took a very hard left to avoid me. I gotta watch these lances, though. Oh, I'm surrounded. No, 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 no. Getting out of there. Alright, here comes the backup. Damn it. Damn this terrain. Here we go. Ah, uh, not where I want to be right now. Luckily, they don't seem to be able to hit me with their weapons. God damn. This is ugly. Archers, do me a favor, move up to here where you can actually support us. Okay, we got reinforcements coming in too, that's good. Somebody kill him, please. There we go. Alright, we cut that guy down, but they've got more cavalry coming in as well. God, they have so much cavalry. I've always found it a bit odd that the Veil relied so heavily on mounted units, because historically, um, people that lived in those types of areas, you know, like the, the type of terrain that the people from the Veil live in, uh, generally not very conducive to cavalry warfare. Um, you know, a lot of mountains and stuff like that. They would probably put a lot of emphasis on heavy infantry. Um, sort of like you'd see with uh, the traditional Greeks. Not not so much like Al Alexander and Macedonia, but um, 
like with the Spartans, they they relied very heavily on heavy infantry because that worked well in the narrow mountain passes and stuff of Greece. Uh, maybe not mountain passes, but the you know they had very like rough foothills and stuff. Not not a great place for cavalry charges and stuff like that. But if you could you know wall it off with a bunch of heavy infantry with bigger shields, it worked pretty well. And that's sort of the way I would expect the Veilman to fight. You bastard. Oh, and you clip me too. Well, you have to die for that. Who are you guys even attacking? It's really difficult to tell, because we've got Veilman on both sides. They appear to be retreating. Um, everybody, hold your ground right here. Archers, I want you on this hill. Infantry, I want you right about where you are. Cavalry, come back over here. Alright, let's try to stop some of these guys that are cutting through our lines. Unfortunately, the spear wall didn't work very well there. It never really does in Warband, to be honest. But, you know, what can you do? Really? I hit his horse? God, I hate this rough terrain. I would dismount, but it'd be way too easy for me to get surrounded if I did. Archers, pull back to here so you guys aren't getting surrounded. I didn't mean to move you up that close. I didn't think they'd be able to just smash right through my Unsullied like that. This horse is not long for this world either. Kill him! Come on. There we go, right in the face. Alright, so now that that's sort of dealt with... God, is all my cavalry dismounted? That is not good. Cavalry, join in with the infantry over here, please. Oh, boy. Um, archers, fall back, fall back, fall back. This horse is slower than me on foot. Um, yeah, archers, pull back to a strategic point somewhere. Cavalry, if there's any of you left, hang on. I might have to join the infantry, though. I just don't see myself being able to do much here. Infantry, I want you setting up there. If there's any pikemen, you can set up with them. I'm going to ditch the horse. The horse is too unwieldy and slow. Come on, guys. Let me through. Let me through, please. Your king demands it. Alright, there we go. Nice try. I don't think so. Um, uh, let's see. You're hostile. Oh, he almost got me. We're relying very heavily on archers here. They seem to be holding these guys off, though. I wonder if they only have archers left. They can't. No, there's no way. They had like 400 men deployed. Oh, sorry, horse. Didn't mean to cut your head off there. There we go. Oh, can I borrow you? Hold still. Nice. And you're not even that wounded. Alright, cavalry, join in. Do what you gotta do. I'm going to try to help out my archers, since these knights keep knifing right through our lines. There we go. Oh good, you got him. It didn't look like he did. Um, right, so is he the last one? No, they're fighting somebody over here too. New enemies have arrived. God. Oh, that was bad. Through my shield, no less. Um, I do not like this spot. Let's see. Um, archers, fall back to there. Infantry, fall back to here. If there's any pikemen, go with them. Cavalry, deployed there. This is not a good spot to be fighting from. Yeah, I'm not going to 
stick around here too too much longer. You guys need to move a lot faster, or we're going to get completely swarmed. <sighs> they don't seem to be listening. So this is going to get ugly. Because if they catch us with a bunch of cavalry while we're retreating, not going to be too pretty. The pikemen seem to be holding them off, but I definitely told the pikemen to go back. Oh, I better watch that guy. Oh, that could have been the end of us. They're all targeting me. Pikemen, why aren't you moving? Oh, wrong, wrong group, wrong group. Pikemen, move. Archers, stay where you were, stay where you were. Archers, if you could, come up here. That should give you a nice line of sight. Um, I am going to ditch this horse and just stand behind this tree. Where it's harder to hit me with arrows. They're going to charge my infantry head on. I guess that's good. Cavalry, do me a favor and go after the uh, archers. Not a lot of them, but... Uh, they should be able to give those guys quite a bit of trouble. And my my archers seem to be doing pretty damn well here. Um, why don't you guys... Oh, bastard. Stupid horse. Move down a little bit. If you guys can fire over the top of their archers. It looks like they're, they're scattering. Um, infantry, charge. Pikes, if there's any of you left, charge. And cavalry, charge. Uh, cavalry, I might need to call you back. Because they've got men all over the place. We'll recall the infantry in a bit. They're a little bit easier to keep tabs on though, because they tend to move in blobs. And they don't move very fast. So I'll let them run around a little bit. But if the enemy starts coming back in large numbers, I'm going to call them back to this hill. We'll set up another defense. But we seem to have gotten them on the ropes. 191 dead. Looks like 43 of my troops are dead, unfortunately. It's a tenth of my army right there. Alright, time to call everybody back. Cavalry, if there's any of you left, get over here. Infantry, come back. Let's see, infantry, I want you set up right there. Cavalry, just join them. You're probably dismounted anyways. Alright, so I decided to back out. Not because we were losing, but because it just wasn't a smart fight to take in the first place. Um, I should have backed out as soon as I realized that we didn't get our reinforcements. Um, but yeah, 45 dead for us. It looks like a lot of them were unsullied, which honestly I don't care about. Um, I don't think they're that good in this game. Um, everything else was just kind of scattered across the board. We did lose some good, inf or some good cavalry, though. Allied casualties were... A lot smaller, but then again, he deployed a lot less troops. And how many of the enemy did we kill? Uh, about 200, so about half of his army was killed, and then another uh, good chunk of it was wounded. So, yeah, we're not going to continue that fight. I guess we just outpaced our men too much, but yeah. Um, let's see, if I run past, they should just dive in. And I don't even need to deal with it. Yeah, so um, we're just going to let that play out. I imagine that we're out of time at this point. So um, we'll pick back up here in the next episode. Um, he should be pretty easily defeated by literally everybody in our kingdom. And then we'll continue on our way to... Uh... Oh. Okay. Apparently the Reach took Red Fort. I don't know that I like that. Why are they even at war with the Vale? I don't know, but we'll need to grab Goldtown before anything like that happens. And I don't want to go to war with the Reach, but if they don't lose this, um, I might have to. I, I can't really abide that. Uh, you know, if they want to stick to conquering this stuff down here, if they want to take the Western Lands, fine. But anything north of this line is mine. Except for over here, I don't care about that. But anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Clash of Kings with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.